sole of Seton after a nice uh, spring break and a little blizzard that came through the East Coast. We're back on the airwaves, so uh, hopefully you guys weren't uh, missing us too much. But uh, on this episode, we're getting into an interesting thing in regards to Lent. Lent is a time of prayer, penance, and almsgiving. So we're going to get into how does that help us towards salvation, specifically in regards to faith and works. So um, joining us to do that is uh, Father Fred Miller. He's a professor here um, of systematic theology at the Immaculate Conception Seminary. Um, got his doctorate at St. Thomas Aquinas Pontifical University in Rome. So where should we start with this when we talk about faith and works? I think one of the key terms we talked about before the show was merit. What does the church mean by merit? And what do, unfortunately, what does the Protestant understanding seem to mistakenly think about merit? Well, it's hard to talk about um, one Protestant concept. Sure. But the classical theology of the Reformation is that Catholics trust in good works in order to be saved. In other words, I'm saved because I do particular works. And this was obviously a big objection uh, at the time. It was an objection because... The scripture says that we're saved through faith. Yeah. So I think the best way to look at merit is through an image that Jesus uses. He says, a good tree bears good fruit, and a bad tree bears, bears bad fruit. Yeah. So if you have a true tree that's diseased, it's not going to produce fruit, or it's going to produce a very defective fruit. If the tree is healthy, that tree is going to produce good fruit. So the same thing... If we have faith, if we're in Jesus, mm -hmm. if we live in his grace and his grace fills us, then we're going to do the works of Jesus. So God promises whenever we do the works of Jesus, loving the Father and loving each other, that God will reward us with an increase of grace and an increase of eternal life. And, this and is that's what, what merit is. And this is what the, ch I mean, the church uses this to, to get at the sanctifying grace, the grace that builds the, the, the uh, reservoir filling up with grace, correct? Sanctifying grace is the life of the Trinity within us, and it's incompatible with mortal sin. So a person commits mortal sin, he forfeits, he loses that indwelling life of God, he needs the sacrament of reconciliation. But if we have, if we're living in the grace of God, in sanctifying grace, then every good work that we do is a participation in the works of Jesus.